In this media, you are going to learn about heat exchangers. Tubular heat exchangers. Tubular heat exchangers should be attended to at regular intervals for cleaning of tubes and pressure testing and inspected for erosion, corrosion or cavitations. If the exchanger is of the coil type, the outer tube walls are easily cleaned and the inner tube wall can be cleared by compressed air or some cleaning agent with limited success. A straight tube exchanger is normally cleaned by using a tube brush, high pressure water or compressed air and the outer tube walls can be cleaned by circulating cleaning chemicals. For water coolers, particularly those using seawater through the tubes, the tube plates and tube ends should be subjected to close examination for corrosion or galvanic effects. If re-expansion is required for the tube ends, proper care must be taken to follow manufacturer's instructions so that the tube wall reduction is limited. End covers should also be examined for corrosion and remedied. If the end covers are coated internally, these will need to be restored if damaged. Air vents provided on the covers are to be cleared as necessary. If the tube bundle can be withdrawn from the shell, it can be easily cleaned in the chemical bath and rinsed with water generously. Sink anodes or soft iron anodes, if required, need to be cleaned so that the active surface is exposed or replaced. Pressure testing is usually carried out at 1.25 to 1.5 times the working pressure. Identified leaky tubes are to be plugged to ensure that the material used for the plug is appropriate and the taper plug snugly fits with the bell mouth of the tube. It is not advisable to run any heat exchanger with more than 30% of the tubes plugged. Foundation supports of the exchanger are to be hammer tested. Electrical heat exchangers These type of heat exchangers normally comprise a heating element fitted into a shell. These hardly require any maintenance other than an insulation test of the heating coil and removal or drainage of solid deposits. Thus, you have learned about heat exchangers.